Hello again and welcome to Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. We're broadcasting here in the Marion H. Rochelle Gateway Center. And what a day for the Wyoming Cowboys on homecoming last Saturday. How about them pokes as they come up with the win over Nevada? And coach, this was a game where everybody contributed. I thought the Cowboys offensively, defensively, special teams, the punting, all around just played very, very well in this game. Well beyond the win, that was our most complete football game. But we're an emerging football team and we've seen a lot of signs uh, in a positive uh, fashion through practice and even in some of our previous games where we lost that guys kept getting better and they stayed uh, positive and it was really encouraging to see uh, all that hard work come up with a W. You bet. It looked like it all came together in this one for homecoming. The Cowboys right there on Jonah Field at War Memorial Stadium. Here they come all set to go out the tunnel and ready to go at Nevada. Here we go, coach. Well, as we got started, it was important. We've been emphasizing to start fast and, uh, you know, we certainly had done that. Uh, a real challenge for us was going to be holding this rushing uh, attack down, which we did. Now we're jumping into some highlights here in the second quarter. This is a, uh, a no back uh, completion, actually a long yardage uh, completion to Kellen Overstreet, another bright uh, shining uh, running back for us. And uh, Cam Kaufman came uh, with a pass to Jake Hollister here. Here you can see with a bone crushing forearm and a uh, little flare out of the, uh, the tight end position, putting the ball right where it needed to be. Uh, really uh, a big, big uh, play, and it started it out with a uh, touchdown, and now we're ahead. Nevada does come back, as I said earlier. They've got an excellent rushing attack. Had two runners that were a couple of the top ones in the country. Uh, what was occurring, though, was the gains that occurred, while well, it was disappointing they'd have some gains, they, they didn't have the long gains. And that, I think, really had a big, big impact in the ball game. Here you can see their running back finding a nifty hole there and scoring a touchdown. Now the game's tied. But the biggest difference has been making them go the long, hard way as, as opposed to giving up the easy play. Cam uh, Coffin played his best game as a Cowboy. I think he was 18 for 20. Here you can see him putting the ball right where, where it needed to be. We put a couple plays in here just to show you uh, the ability for us to stay on the field on third down here. A good job by our offensive line. Great job by uh, Brian Hill running the ball and getting those first downs. Now you can see Cam dropping back for pass and uh, he's improvising here. You can see he comes up and throws a strike. What a great throw and a great catch by Tanner Gentry. Uh, kind of the back shoulder, very difficult to defend. Um, and Cam knew exactly where he was going. Came up, set up with great poise, threw the ball right where it needed to be. And Tanner did a great job, uh, put us up 14 to seven right now. And a lot of mo momentum building on our sideline. And here you can see Cam coming back. This is a, a swing uh, uh, screen to Brian. Brian does a great job. Um, you know, catching the ball and picking up a couple good blocks. And now we're deep in uh, Nevada's territory. And once again, Cam's showing his mobility. Uh, he takes off and runs and uh, makes a guy uh, miss. And uh, fortunately, we came up with a, a fumble um, here. I don't know whether they called it a fumble or not, but nonetheless, it was our ball. And uh, once again, a good job by Cam finding the open receiver. That's Jake Mulhar in the end zone. Now we're up 21 to nothing. What well, was so great, uh, you weren't able to pick that up off these highlights. That was an excellent two minute drive. And here you can see Cam did a great job here finding the open receiver. And that was right before half. Uh, good job of eluding the uh, right defensive end. Touchdown to Jake Mahar in the end zone. Here you can see coming in at halftime, 21 to seven. Uh, quite a difference from where, he, where we have been. Great uh, uh, yardage there, pretty balanced. 126 rushing, 153 passing. Yeah, 21-7 as you said, Coach. Cowboys up at halftime and, and looking good. I'm not so sure that wasn't the best half of football for the Cowboys so far this season. It certainly was. A lot of things, uh, you know, the kicking game was there. I thought Ethan Wood had a great day. Two punts inside the 50 uh, or inside the 20. Did a great job kicking off. We didn't turn the ball over. Played solid defense. And had a great lead at halftime. You bet. Stay with us. More to come. Second half highlights coming up next here on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. We're back right after this. Inside Wyoming Football with Craig Bowl is brought to you by your Magnificent 7 Wyoming Toyota dealers, Wyoming Relay, 
the University of Wyoming International Programs Office, and the University of Wyoming Outreach School. Welcome back to Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bull. Well, on Saturday, the Cowboys had a 21-7 lead at halftime. And going into that second half, you knew you were going to get the football coach, and I yeah. thought that was a big possession there to get that score well, early. It certainly was. We always say the most important series of the whole game is the first series of the second half because it either establishes momentum or reestablishes momentum. Our offense did a great job. You can see Cam came out. He had the hot hand, and uh, we moved right down the field. Yeah matriculated right down the field the Cowboys did. Let's go to the highlights, shall we? Here we go, second half. The Cowboys taking control. Well, here you can see Cam coming back and uh, we're deep in our territory. He comes back and Tanner Gentry uh, gets behind the defensive back. Uh, Cam does a nice job putting the ball where it needed to be. I know Tanner's a little bit uh, disappointed he didn't get the long touchdown, but nonetheless, it was a big gain. Uh, you can see we're deep in their territory. Now this is an outside sweep play. Uh, to Brian Hill, uh, they got tagged for a horse collar a penalty, which put it further uh, in the, into their territory. And I think this is just a sign of the things to come here. This is true cowboy tough football. A true freshman, uh, Kellen Overstreet, but getting behind that big offensive line and, and uh, Kellen just kept his legs churning. Here you can see some great footage, low pad level, great determination. Guys move in the pile, keep moving the pile all the way in for a five yard touchdown. It's a thing of beauty. Uh, now we've got them deep in their territory and uh, you can see what's also occurring is a lot better tackling as the season has progressed here. Marcus Epps comes up and does a sure tackle. Uh, this is also a nice job by our defensive front. I think uh, they keep on playing better and better, the two defensive tackles in particular, and really we've got them backed up in their territory. Now Nevada gets a, a you know, a big play here. The quarterback gets scrambled out of the pocket and does a nice job throwing the ball down the field. That was a third down play, a third and 10, and kept them on the field. And in fact, that was a key play and, and uh, as they moved down the field and scored a touchdown. Now the score now is 28 uh, to 14. Games got a little bit tighter. Uh, our defense is still playing hard. Uh, here they come back. This, I believe, was the longest play of the game. That was a really good throw and a good catch. We had two defenders there. Uh, and you know what? The other team's got good players and they practice too. Uh, here we actually had a busted coverage and uh, uh, the, the receiver looked like he jumbled the ball there a little bit, but that was uh, scored a touchdown. And uh, now here's uh, one of the best defensive series that I can remember here. DJ May does a nice job deflecting the ball. Uh, 151 left, you can see uh, Nevada is moving here the, at this, I believe, is a second down play or a third down play. Uh, the receiver was out of bounds, and now we come up with a big fourth down play. And I know everybody was on pins and needles. I know I certainly was. DJ May comes free on the blitz. You can see great uh, gang tackling actually caused a fumble here. And uh, what was so fun to see is just the emotion of our players, all the hard work to come out with the big win was certainly special. And uh, this right here coming up is what I think is the best play in football. Uh, you know, we're in the victory formation. Our offense did a nice job uh, using up some of the rest of the clock and now we've uh, secured the win. So uh, Cam Kaufman had a great day there and, and uh, you can see the final stats. The thing that's so important here, uh, Dave, is the balance, uh, 272 yards rushing and 213 yards uh, passing and, and anytime you can get like that, that certainly helps. Yeah, it really is. To see such an effective offense, uh, efficient offense, certainly run the football and then making big plays on defense. Defense was out there and actually made the biggest play of the game on that fourth down. Well, if you look at the transition of our whole football team, particularly our defense from the start of the year to now, they've continued to get better and that uh, point total and the yardage has gone down and that allows us an opportunity to win games. Number eight had a big day again, coach, 188 yards rushing, and uh, he is such an effective weapon and got a good guy to have on your team. Well, he certainly is, and he, he's a great competitor, and along with uh, his ability, the offensive line is continuing to open up some holes. 
I think uh, Brian right now is maybe 15 yards shy of 1,000 uh, yards. He could care less about that. But I think, at, you know, about the halfway juncture, it uh, really speaks well of his ability. And as you said, Coach, it's so great to see those young guys. I look at that secondary. They're all freshmen back there and making big plays now. Well, they certainly did. And, and you know, we had some adversity uh, in this game. You know, a lot of new guys playing back there. and. They challenged, and Nevada had some good, big, strong receivers, and I thought our guys were challenged, and they came up and answered the bell. Yeah, notch that one in the wind column for the Wyoming Cowboys, and you stay with us. We have more to come on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bold. We're back after this timeout. Welcome back to Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bold. Well, this Wyoming Cowboy has made the transition from offense to defense in a big way, and he had a big game on Saturday. Our own Kevin McKinney had a chance to sit down and visit with Wyoming Cowboy DJ May. DJ, you're a guy that likes to have the football in your hands. And uh, the situation with this team took that out of your hands a little bit. Um, so you, uh, that's pretty unselfish. Uh, talk a little bit about how hard that was for you. Uh, it's pretty hard because, you know, I started playing football in seventh grade. And, you know, before that, I just ran track and played basketball. I really did a lot of sports wrestling. But it's just, you know, when I first started playing football, they're like, okay, he's fast. Just put him at running back. And then I was scared to hit, so I would just run from everybody. And no one would touch me. I'd just be running left and right. Like, my favorite player at the time was Reggie Bush. So I'd just run to this side of the field, run to that side of the field, run to this side, break up the middle, go score. But, you know, in the whole time, I always played running back until high school. I started playing a little bit of defense, but not too much. So, you know, but I mean, I just want to win. And I know last year we started struggling defensively. We lost a lot of guys too. So I just know, you know, they needed some help on the defensive side. And, you know, I trust in Brian. He could run the ball. Sean could run the ball. I could run the ball. We could all do it. But you can't have three running backs trying to rotate, you know, throughout the season. It's just too much. Like, you're going to feel like, oh, I'm not tired at all. Like, I feel like I can help a team in other ways. So, you know, that's how I approached Coach Bowl. And then, when he told me about he wanted me to make the switch, I was like, okay, whatever I got to do, I'm ready to do it. Right under pressure, and down he goes. The ball comes loose. The Cowboys will take over on downs. I would say, though, I haven't seen you any more excited than on that fourth down play against Nevada <laughs> the other week. Yeah. Uh, you seem pretty excited there. Oh, yes, sir. In defense is fun. You know, it definitely, definitely made me um, learn the game, you know, from a different perspective. I really have to understand football more because that running back, you know, it's just hit the hole and then make some people miss and just run. This is natural. But defense, okay, you got to see what's going on. You got to know your adjustments. You got to know your assignments when someone shifts or, you, you know, it's, it's always something new. It's like a puzzle. So, it's you know, it's pretty challenging, but when we get plays like that, like that last fourth down, I've never been so nervous for a play before. But hey, they sent me on a blitz and we got home and we won the game, so I was very excited. Hey, the, nobody has a guy who's playing linebacker who returns kicks. That, that's gotta be a lot of fun though. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't really see myself as a linebacker. I'm not super big, you know, I just, I'm an athlete. That's what I like to think of it. Cause when people say linebacker, like, oh, you're on defense, you don't have any hands anymore. For some reason, it's like when you switch from offense to defense, your hands leave you or something like that. Cause you can't catch. I dropped a pick. But you no, know, it's, it's, I don't know. I'm just like, whatever you need me to do, I can do it. If you need me to turn kicks, I can do that. You need me to play nickel, I can do that. You need me to play Sam, whatever you want me to do. I'm just trying to have fun. Cause I know what it's like to have it taken from me twice. So I'm just out here having fun, trying to play my hardest and just stay healthy. May is the deep back. They'll give it to him. Working the left side. He's got a first down. He's got four. May to the 30. May to the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys. When did you realize you were faster than everybody else? <laughs> I mean, just, I've always just been pretty fast. You know, I've always been faster than the kids. Like in my elementary school, just growing up, we'd always just race. You know, at school or in the streets, just hanging out with my friends, like just playing around, we'll always be racing. And I did summer track. So I kind of just, I don't know, I just enjoyed racing people, enjoyed running track, enjoyed traveling places. 
And then when my mom, she didn't let me play football at first. She's like, no, I don't want you getting hurt. Like she let me play for like a couple of weeks. I played in a jamboree when I was in like sixth grade, I think, or sixth or fifth grade. And then she took me out. She's like, no, I don't want you to play. We're just gonna stick with track. What's she thinking about it now? Oh, she's loving it. She's, she's my biggest supporter. She's more on top of it than I am, you know? So she's, she keeps me encouraged. You know, she really wants me to make it too. So I know that I got that support. Cause you know, I really want to make it. That's been a dream of mine for a long time. You know, a dream of both of ours. So I'm just continue to fight, you know, try to make it. When my shot comes, then I'm just gonna give it my all. So if you talk to a young guy that was from a big city, who oh, Wyoming was recruiting, yeah. what would you say to him? Like, you know, Wyoming's going to be able to give me an opportunity. They gave me an opportunity to play college football. They gave me an opportunity to get a degree. And hopefully I'll have the shot to, you know, try to go to the next level. I know that I'll be provided with that opportunity. So, I mean, everything that I want to achieve, I can do through here. And that's what my mom told me, you know. I was under-recruited coming out of high school. Didn't start, I started going to, like, some camps going into my senior year. And that's when I got, like, noticed. And then, you know, Wyoming was one of the few teams who wanted to take a shot on me, so I'm just giving them my all. I'm here, you know, I've, I've been hurt a couple of times, but I just bounce back, work hard to come back so I can be out there with the guys. And I just want some rings. I just want to leave here with something. You know, it's been a tough couple of years. Haven't been to bowl game yet. And, you know, we're struggling this year. We got to win out. That's a tough, that's a, you know, tough thing to do, but I believe in my team. I know everyone's going to fight with me. They're going to be right by my side, so. I'm just gonna try to get it done. Got one more under my belt before I leave, so we're gonna get something done, though. Well, number seven has made quite the transition, Coach, going from running back to outside linebacker, and he's playing very well. Well, he certainly is, and anytime you take an offensive guy and you flip him over to defense, you know, it's quite a commitment on his part. Uh, the other thing beyond uh, the, playing the Sam Nickel position, he returns kickoffs. He's also back on punts. He's got great speed, and he's an all-team player. Well, he had quite a game on Saturday, a couple of forced fumbles. He had a, a couple of pass breakups. Yep. He forced a fumble, nine tackles. It went on and on with his well, line. He's certainly active, and uh, his speed and his athleticism has a big impact. He's a very aggressive player, and we're gaining more and more of those type guys over on defense. Yeah, the junior from Federal Way, Washington, D.J. May. You stay with us. We have more to come on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. Back after this timeout. Inside Wyoming Football with Craig Bowl is brought to you by your Magnificent 7 Wyoming Toyota dealers, Wyoming Relay, the University of Wyoming International Programs Office, and the University of Wyoming Outreach School. Well, the Cowboys have a big task going to Boise State on Saturday night to take on the Boise State Broncos. And uh, the cornerbacks coach for the Wyoming Cowboys is an outstanding young coach. John Richardson has the scout for us. Let's find out more about the Boise State Broncos from Cowboy assistant coach John Richardson. competitive they compete every down their attention to detail as well you know they play as a team and a complete team um, but mostly they're just a competitive edge and attention to detail I expect their best shot you know they're a competitive team and they know you know they don't want to have two losses in a row so they're going to come and punch us right in the mouth it's you know it's up to us to do the same thing so they're going to be very competitive they're going to be ready to go and we're expecting that well they're very balanced they can do both you know a quarterback's a great thrower they have good running backs, good O-line, good wide receivers. You know, they're stacked across the board. So, you know, it's, it's a balance of about 50-50 roughly, you know. So they're, they're going to challenge us, you know, in both aspects of the game. So it's up to us to be prepared for it. Well, there's the breakdown. That's a great job done by John Richardson, the cornerbacks coach for the Wyoming Cowboys. And, Coach, here you go. Go play on the blue turf on right. Saturday night. Against Boise State, this is a good football team. How about uh, some of the keys to the game in this one? Well, uh, one of the biggest things is for us to make sure we're taking care of the football. Uh, you know, as we watch Boise's defense, they're very aggressive. They operate out of a three-man front. Um, you know, last week, uh, you know, Boise had a hard time with turnovers. You know, Brett uh, Rippon's an excellent quarterback, but he was picked off several times. He had some fumbles. We'll need to be aggressive on defense get some takeaways. Certainly you go on the road, you're playing an excellent football team. 
we need to come up with a plus two or three in the turnover margin and then be really solid in the kicking game. And, uh, you know, this is going to be a big opportunity for us to come up and build some momentum after a big win uh, this last weekend. So really just more of same for the Cowboys. Just get keep getting a little bit better in each category and each phase and take it on the road and see what happens. Well, certainly we hope to have some players back. Lucas Walker this week will come back and we're excited about that. Uh, but going on the road is going to be a challenge for us. However, I think our football team has played well on the road, and I know our guys are going to be excited, and our coaches are excited as well. You mentioned Lucas Waka coming back. Are there Cowboys getting healthier, or are the Cowboys kind of standing pat at this point? Well, as as a week goes along, you know, we'll see where Tanner Gentry's at. You know, he had a slight ACL sprain or AC sprain. Uh, we'll find out a little bit more game time where he's at, but we're in hopes to have uh, more guys coming back. Uh, you bet. That'll do it for us here on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bull. Come back next time. Take a look at those highlights, the Cowboys and Boise State. That'll do it for us. For the head coach, I'm Dave Walsh. So long, everybody. Fake the inside handoff. Cam throws. He's got Hollister. Fights off one tackler, and he's in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Under center, Koppen straight back to throw. Pulls it back. Looks to his left. Now lobs to the corner. This is... Caught! Touchdown, Cowboys! Tanner Gentry! Here's Koppen. Oh, avoids one tackler. Throws to the corner. That's caught! Touchdown, Cowboys! Van Manen, the up back, the blocking back. Give it to Overstreet. Overstreet plows across the five. Now he's close to the goal line. And he's in! Touchdown, Cowboys!